I'm Kento Yoshikawa, coming from JAXA, and I'm talking about the Hayabusa 2 operation design and evaluation of Minerva 2, 1A and B rovers deployment. So my talk is about Hayabusa 2 mission. Hayabusa 2 is Japanese asteroid explorer, and uh, we challenged the Minerva 2 uh, to uh, deployment uh, on September 21st of 2018. So this is a rover. So this has a hopping mechanism, and after landing, uh, these rovers uh, is explorer on the surface of Ryugu. So, in my presentation, my, uh, I have the two big questions. The first one is where Loba should be land at least. And the next one is how spacecraft fly for Loba landing and spacecraft safety. Uh, this is um, <laughs> Operation sequence of whole operation of Minerva 2 deployment. So, Hayabusa 2 keeps uh, 20 kilometers height, and uh, this spacecraft is hovering uh, on the surface of, above the surface of Ryugu, and we uh, descend uh, at 60 meter height and deploy the rovers and shoot the image of. Uh, lower deployment by using the optical camera and go back to the home position. So there are some requirements for this operation and we studied about uh, this operation by using the astrodynamics simulation and analysis. The first uh, main topic is about the landing site selection. So, this is an answer of where should uh, where Loba should be landed. So this is a analysis of Monte Carlo simulation. So we have the we have seven candidates to deploy the rovers, but uh, because of the uh, dispersion area and the ground station visibility, or not to overlap with other mission like touchdown or mascot. Uh, this is a lander. Uh, so we finally selected N6 area. So this is the final uh, result of analysis. So this is a uh, one sigma, two sigma, three sigma dispersion. And one more uh, uh, big topic is about the spacecraft trajectory and attitude design. So spacecraft uh, dynamics is based on the by equ uh, equation of motion of rotational coordinate system, and this is a, a nominal path design. So here is the equatorial ridge of Ryugu, and spacecraft is going to north uh, to keep spacecraft safety, and uh, around here. Uh, spacecraft released rovers and uh, going up to uh, home position. And another topic is the shooting by using the optical camera. So uh, after released rover, uh, spacecraft will track the rover's dynamics. So we have to change the attitude as well. So this is the simulation result of uh, optical camera shooting. So we have nine uh, opportunities to take picture by using the telescopic camera. And uh, from f first to third, uh, we selected to both fast landing area and low bird dispersion area. So we selected this green uh, square. And uh, after fourth to ninth uh, opportunities, we selected to aim the center of the global dispersion. So this is the result of operation. So this is a, a spacecraft trajectory. So the dash line shows the plan, uh, nominal plan trajectory. So as you can see, the spacecraft can control uh, to follow the nominal path. And this is a lighter light, history, and uh, this is very close to the nominal plan. 
So this is uh, taken images uh, uh, of rovers. So here, this bright spot is uh, rover, one one of the rover, and uh, this uh, dark spot shows the shadow of uh, this rover. So uh, in this operation, the carvers and carver and two rovers were deployed, and this is a video of tracking of bright spot. <laughs> there is these three bright spots is moving like this. So this is the end of my presentation. This is the image uh, taken from lobers. So, and we uh, succeed the um, lobers deployment operation, and we uh, explorer. Uh, on the surface of Ryugu, and this uh, operation is based on uh, astrodynamics simulation. So thank you very much.